Welcome to today's lesson on adding and subtracting decimals. Today I'm going to teach you how to add and subtract decimals up to the thousands place. Let's go ahead and begin. When you're adding and subtracting decimals, it's very similar to adding and subtracting whole numbers. The difference is you have to make sure you line up the decimal. That's going to make sure that you have the proper place values in order. Let's look at an example together. If we were going to add 5 and 12 hundredths, plus 3 and 27 hundredths. We make sure that we have our decimal lined up. When you have your decimal lined up, that means that your ones place will be lined up, your tenths, your hundredths, and so on. So now that we have our decimal lined up, let's go ahead and add. Just like adding whole numbers, you're going to start on the right hand side and work your way to the left. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 2 plus 1 equals 3. We bring our decimal down to keep it in the same order, and 5 plus 3 equals 8. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and try a subtraction problem. We are going to subtract 1 and 6 tenths minus 16 hundredths. Now, as you'll notice, this one's a little bit trickier. We've lined up our decimal. However, our bottom decimal doesn't have a number in the ones place. So we're going to put a zero there as a placeholder. Our top number doesn't have a number in the hundredths place. So we're also going to put a zero as a placeholder. So now that our decimals are lined up and we've put in our placeholders, now we can go ahead and subtract. You can't take six from zero. So we're going to cross out our six, replace it with a five, and bring over our 1. 10 minus 6 equals 4. 5 minus 1 equals 4. We bring down our decimal, and 1 minus 0 equals 1. So we were able to complete regular subtraction. All we had to do was bring down our decimal, line up our place values, and then put in placeholders. Let's go through some practice problems together. I'm going to write a problem on the screen, and I want you to solve it. Let's go ahead and start with 98 hundredths minus 33 hundredths. Now make sure you set this up correctly. First you need to line up your decimals. So we're going to line up 0 and 98 hundredths, making sure our larger number's on top, and then we're going to line up our 0 and 33 hundredths. So now we're ready to solve. 8 minus 3 equals 5. 9 minus 3 equals 6. We need to make sure that we bring down that decimal and we'll bring down our placeholder. So we have 65 hundredths. Let's go ahead and try another one. This time we're going to be adding. I want you to add 3 and 34 thousandths plus 1 and 3 tenths. Now I'm challenging you on this one. Make sure you line up your decimals. All right, step one. We're going to put our larger number on top, 3 and 34 thousandths, plus 1 and 3 tenths. Now I want you to notice that we've lined up our decimals, which means that we have our ones place lined up, our tenths place lined up, but we have two empty place values. So we need to fill those in with zeros. And now we're ready to add. 4 plus 0 equals 4, 3 plus 0 equals 3, 3 plus 0 equals 3. We bring down that decimal, and 3 plus 1 equals 4. Great job! Let's go ahead and practice a word problem together. Maria has $1.37 to spend at the store. She spends 93 cents. How much money does Maria have left? Well, we know that we're going to be subtracting 93 cents from the $1.37 that Maria starts with. So let's go ahead and write that down. We want to make sure that we have the larger number on the top, and then we're going to be subtracting our 93 cents. Now notice, I've lined up our decimals, and that's going to line up the rest of our place values. Our ones place is lined up, tenths place, and hundredths place. Also, since we have a zero in the ones place, we put our zero in as a placeholder. Now we're ready to subtract. 
7 minus 3 equals 4. We can't take 9 away from 3, so we're going to have to cross out our 1 and bring it over. 13 minus 9 equals 4. We bring down our decimal and keep a 0 as a placeholder. So we know that Maria has 44 cents left over. Let's review what you've learned in today's lesson. It's very important when you're adding and subtracting decimals that you line up your decimals. For example, if we were to add 5 and 20 hundredths plus 2 and 304 thousandths, we need to make sure that our decimals are lined up, even though we might have longer place values in one number than another. The next step is then to fill in your missing place values with zeros, and that's going to help you keep things aligned. Then you can add like regular whole number. 0 plus 4 equals 4, 0 plus 0 equals 0, 2 plus 3 equals 5, we bring down that decimal, and 5 plus 2 equals 7. When you're subtracting, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make sure that your larger number is on top and that you have your decimals aligned. Then you can go ahead and you can subtract down once you've filled in any missing place values. So you can't take 7 away from 0, so we're going to cross out our 7, change it into a 6, and bring over our 1. 10 minus 7 equals 3. 6 minus 0 equals 6. We bring down that decimal, and 3 minus 1 equals 2.